I just finished my first coronavirus live stream lecture back from uh, my office instead. Now this was uh, this was quite an experience because I have so much equipment here and I'm, I'm a bit of a nerd. So you should go and check out the lecture if you want to see. I'm, I'm throwing in all, all the bells and whistles that I can to, to give a, a really different online lecture. And uh, yeah, there's there's so many great possibilities to to doing this now, and I also I did it in English, so this time is for everyone. So if you want to learn basic acoustics, you can go ahead and follow my follow my lecture series, and uh, please let me know what you think because I'm I'm new to this. I haven't done it in this format before. Now with the micromanaging the chat window and multiple cameras and everything, it's uh, it's quite quite uh, something too. It feels like it feels like my brain is about to start melting. It probably has already begun, so I have to keep my head straight if, so I don't tilt my head too much to the side. It might pour out of my ears. That's that's what I feel like right now. With the, first, you do a lecture. You make sure that all the equipment is working. I have I have a wireless microphone to show some of the examples on the floor. I, I even managed to screen share my sound level meter while doing the lecture. So, and then three screens. I would actually, I will actually need a fourth screen to really do this properly. And I would need to put it up here on the, on the wall so I can see like, this is what is uh, transmitted out to the audience because three, three screens is, is just not enough, not enough for a live streamer le le lecturer. So, <laughs> but don't let, don't let this deter you. I really encourage you all to, to start, start experimenting with this stuff. and. You don't start with this type of equipment. That is not a good idea. Do it as simple as you possibly can. That's what I really, really recommend. Go for the low hanging fruit, which is capture your lecture with the PowerPoint slides and spoken audio. That's it. That's all the students need to be able to revisit the lecture and look at it as many times that they want to. That's all you need to do. Find a way to record audio while presenting slides and sharing them online. And then you just keep adding some new thing every every time you do the course. I, I've been I've been doing this for many, many years. So I started my live streaming journey back in 2017. So I had like it's a fourth year of polishing here. And I, I'm kind of obsessed when it comes to these things. I, I, I want to do something, something really, really great here. And I, today, this, this was, uh, this was the most advanced one so far. So I would, uh, I would really like to have a. <laughs> I, I need to have some kind of streaming assistant, someone that can sit in back in the control room, let's say, and. Uh, have, have, keep an eye on the on the chat and on, on on the stream that everything's working right right in the middle of the stream my microphones gave up so I had to get it back on without anyone noticing and <laughs> there's so much small things going on so you <laughs> but it was great fun I'm super happy that I pulled this off and I'm gonna keep doing it because uh, the the potential is is limit it li it's limitless it's literally limitless the way we can put out content online right now. I would really, really appreciate your feedback on the lecture. Have a super nice day. See ya.